First, we're continuing to provide expert small business advice via the engine with business advisor Catherine Cook, who joins us now along with Joe Jensen from Strictly Savvy, what a great name, to explain how a virtual assistant could help grow your business. Good morning to you both ladies, nice to see you. Hello. Hi. Fabulous name, Joe. I love a little bit of alliteration. <laughs> um, Catherine, a VA is a term that's banded about, I know what it is, but what is it? Can you tell us, for those that, I, I'm only a new VA convert person. Well, let's just say it's probably something that most people in business need. Um, a lot of business owners try to do everything themselves and the reality is, is that you can't. So don't try and be the bookkeeper, don't try and be the graphic designer, outsource it, concentrate on where your strengths are. Um, and a virtual assistant is someone that works remotely, so um, if you don't have an office, um, you don't need an office to have them in, uh, and they'll work remotely, you give them the work, they do it. Um, but at the same time, um, it enables you to uh, get out and do what you need to do. But hey, look, what do I know about being a virtual assistant? I've got these, these bits on the show. So. Yeah, well, that's right, Joe, because um, you know the dynamic of the workplace is changing massively. Lots of people working remotely these days. So this sounds like an ideal way for a business owner to access resources they need, even during a potential lockdown. Um, walk us through the other benefits of engaging uh, a virtual assistant. Yeah, so with a virtual assistant, it means that you can have full-time access to someone, but you're not actually paying for a full-time employee. Mm. Uh, and so you can, you can access the resources when you need, and you can scale it up and down. Uh, with a, when you hire an employee, often it's that one person has one skill set. But with a, hiring a virtual assistant, um, you know, for, with Strictly Savvy, we have a whole team um, sitting behind us. Yeah. And so you hire Strictly Savvy and it means that you can then have access to all of the skill sets across the team. Absolutely, uh, so yeah. absolutely. So um, how do business owners know that their data is safe and that we can trust our VAs when we invite external parties um, to access their systems? What kind of security measures are in place? Yeah, one of the, one of the key conversations to have with a potential hire um, with a virtual assistant is that you need to make sure that they've really thought about how they're going to keep your data safe. Mm. This includes things like, you know, you're going to be handing over um, quite a few passwords and logins. So how are they actually managing those? Let's hope that they're not going to be writing them down in a notebook. <laughs> it's really important that they've thought about password vault tools. Um, and, you know, they've thought about um, the, the data that's actually on their laptop. Have they got passwords on that? How secure is it? Um, you know, a lot of virtual assistants work from home. So what have they got in terms of security over there, like Wi-Fi? Uh, and, you know, they need to be working with an IT company to actually keep that safe. Um, at Strictly Savvy, we have a, a Meraki system, which means that we can actually uh, know where all of the laptops are with our team and we can wipe the data um, at the push of a button. So we just know that whatever, you know, if something was compromised, that it's that it can be um, completely removed and no one else can You're access protecting it. So, your clients. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the type of thing that you need to be having those types of conversations with. Okay, at this point in our conversation, I'm sure many people at home will be wondering, well, what can I outsource? Yeah. You know, what, what what do virtual assistants actually do? So you've got to think about what are the things that you're either not good at, don't have time for, mm -hmm. um, or you know, can you get someone to do the the admin, the bookkeeping, the the back-end tasks, that means that you can then switch your time to be doing revenue generating activities. You know, as a business owner, it doesn't make sense for you to be doing admin. It makes sense for you to be in front of customers, um, finding new customers and providing a great service and working on your business. So it's all of the other stuff that someone else could do um, so that you can focus on the stuff that you only you can do. Absolutely. We'll get to you in a minute, Catherine. I'm sure you've got lots of more wise <laughs> words to add to this, but Joe's fascinating. Um, Joe, how much time do you suggest a business owner should should spend with a VA to get them uh, the understanding of what you do? Like, how much input do we need to give the VA, or will they just pick things up and run with it? Yeah, a little, a little bit of a mixture. So it's you've got to think about the more time you invest in the beginning of the mm. relationship. The, the bigger the payoff down the track. So if you can really, I know that it's really hard when people, they hire a virtual assistant because they are really busy and yeah. they don't have time, but you've got to make the time to put it into the relationship to have them understand what it is that you want them to do. They should be able to help you also come up with ideas about what they can do. Mm. Uh, and, and yeah, the more you put into it, the 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 more you're gonna get out in the long run. Yeah, that's such great advice. What would be your number one tip to a business owner that's currently seeking the expertise of a VA? 
My number one tip is to do it, but then communication. That is the absolute key to the relationship and getting the most out of um, that work, that uh, VA doing that work for you and supporting you. So, um, Catherine, uh, having used a VA service, what would your top tip be? Delegate to elevate. Mm -hmm. um, I, mm. I say that all the time. I mean, the reality is, is that some people really look at the cost of it but if you actually look at your cost and your time and doing those jobs um, you'll actually be growing by actually delegating it on and um, a V8 is not expensive remember um, you can spend a lot of time teaching yourself how to do things and lose productivity even having someone on the ground they're spending a lot of their day actually not being productive, mm. whereas a VA knows they're paid by the hour and they've got the job to be done, um, they get on and do it, plus they're specialists in the area. And what I love about Strictly Savvy is that what what Joe was just saying, you know, uh, they've got a whole group of people. So if I've got a VA and their skill set is being an EA, which is an executive assistant, and I need a bookkeeper, not a not an executive assistant, they've got a bookkeeper that they can actually work with and it's all part of the same deal. So um, delegate to elevate. Okay, Joe. final words, uh, why Strictly Savvy? Yeah, we have been in the industry for quite a while now, so eight years, and over that time we've built an exceptional team. Um, and as Catherine was saying, we have team members who specialise in certain things. So people know that when they come to us, they're going to get the very best person on the task. Uh, we've learnt a lot o over the eight years about streamlining and automation and the amount of tools and you know how we know how businesses run and how they run really well so by coming to us you really get to to um, capitalize on that knowledge that we've already built up and we can yeah implement a lot of things that really elevate the business uh, and we yeah make sure that those people are delegating because it really is key Wonderful stuff. And one thing I'd like to just say is that these guys are constantly educating people. So if you go to their YouTube channel uh, for Strictly Savvy, each week there's new information going in there and um, even if you're just still thinking about it, you'll be sold on it just by the content and the quality of the information, which is actually showing you uh, the quality of their work. So Wonderful stuff. Thank you so much for bringing Joe in today, Catherine. Nice to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. And for more small business advice, you can get in touch with Catherine at theengine.biz. And to find out more about how a VA could help your business, contact Joe and the team at strictlysavvy.co.nz. 